Hey friends, I'm Joel Karleski, the super brave teacher who also got his nails painted. Woohoo! Yes friends, I am Joel Karleski, the super brave teacher with the painted nails. And if you like the painted nails, you can like this channel, you can share this channel, you can do what you do by giving out the word about the super brave teacher because every time you click like. Every time you share these videos, you are telling the world that people like me, gay teachers like me, LGBTQ plus teachers like me are important and we want to be visible and have our voices heard. LGBTQ plus students also are important and have a voice and want to be heard. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now back to these lovelies. I've been filming in the evening now to try to f better schedule myself and you can probably see them now, but I have painted four of my nails. Why, you might be wondering why, and why four? Well, first of all, I didn't paint them. I'm not good at painting my nails. So I asked my lovely assistant, my lovely international intern, my lovely co-teacher in the classroom, hey, could you paint my nails? She came to class and she had like these beautifully painted yellow nails and I was like, um, and I'm like, use your words, use your words. Could you be so kind to please paint? And she's like, of course I will. So I said, okay. But if I'm gonna paint my nails, I don't wanna do it like anybody else. I wanna do it different. So we're getting there, and I'll tell you why. I painted just four of my nails. Are you thinking about it? Think about it. Hmm. Hmm. First of all, why yellow? Yellow is my favorite color. Yellow to me is just this happy, vibrant color. It was the color of our wedding, and I just have always loved the color yellow. Um, it just makes me happy. And the kids know it. They're always like, what's your favorite? Oh, it's yellow. I'm gonna make you a card with yellow on it. And I'm like, yay, I love the color yellow. So yellow, of course. And also painting your nails, I think it's so important, especially as a male kindergarten teacher, that our boys, especially, and our girls too, see that it's okay for us to do things that are not gender conforming. So often you don't see men painting their nails and it's like, exactly, that's why I'm gonna paint my nails because men can paint their nails too. And women don't have to paint their nails and that's okay. You gotta do what is best and what is right for you. So me painting my nails, the boys are like, uh, uh. But then, you wanna know the coolest part? Kids start telling stories and they're like, um, I painted my nails in preschool and they never made fun of me so I stopped, but I really liked it. Or, my brother painted his nails and I think it's really cool, but he stopped because he got made fun of. And I kept hearing all these stories of like, I wanna paint my, fin my, my fingernails, my, my toenails, whatever but I keep getting made fun of and I'm like, wait a second. No, I'm gonna, one of your favorite people in the world, your teacher is painting their nails to show you that it's okay to do you. With your parents' permission, of course. With your child watching this, with your parents' permission. But yeah, it's important for them to see a lot of variety of people doing different things. So right away, I like the color yellow and it's important for kids to see diversity in even with the little things, right? But why four? It was really important for me to do something different, like I said earlier, and four for me is a, is a number. I, I wanted to look up a lot of research and I was researching bullying and what happens to especially LGBT youth, and I came across this statistic that said four out of 10, you're tracking, good job, four out of 10 LGBTQ plus youth are physically bullied for being who they are. Four out of 10. Eight out of 10 are verbally bullied for being who they are. So four out of 10 physical harm, eight out of 10 verbal harm. Like I do on this channel, I'm pausing so you take that in. What I'm sharing is if you know someone who is LGBTQ plus, and as youth is young, going through high school up to college, my guess is they're being bullied. And my guess is, it's not okay, it's not even a guess. It's not okay and it needs to stop. So we need to do our part, whether it's painting our fingernails or whatever it is to get the word out that that's not okay. So I'm gonna do my part and I keep being a little mosquito on the wall, saying like, hey, what more can we do for our LGBT youth at school and for our gender non-conforming students and people who are just different than us? What can we do to support them on the micro level? And then on the macro level, I love contributing to groups like the Trevor Project 
or HRC or whatever is local for you so that you let your voice be known that this is not okay. Bullying and hurting kids, whether it's physical or verbal, is never okay. And what I always say on this channel is that my guess is it's a lot worse than the statistics say. My guess is not all kids. <laughs> you probably know a lot of kids too who are just shyer and they don't self-report. They're not gonna like, um, who's being physically bullied for being gay? Uh, me! You know, it's, it's a hard thing to talk about. I am just starting to talk about me being bullied or me being just hurt for being who I was. So if I, as an adult, a 34-year-old adult, is, am just starting to talk about it, I can only imagine how hard it must be, especially nowadays, to be someone who's different. So it is very on my heart to be an advocate for all, to let my voice be heard, but also to do that so we can hear more voices and more stories and see more people who are just different. And that's okay. It's okay. You'll always hear that in my classroom. Todos somos diferentes y está bien. We're all different and that's okay. So if you're different, just know that it's okay. If you like painting your fingernails and you're a boy, if you're a man like me, that's okay. You do you. You being you is awesome. You being you is enough. And I'm gonna say the same thing to me. Joel, my guess is when you were a kid, you probably wanted to paint your fingernails and you never got to. Or you tried when your mom wasn't looking. Shh, don't tell my mom. Anyway, you Joel are enough too. You are beautiful. You are love. Just being who you are. Fingernails or not, but enjoy the fingernails while you got it. Friends, thank you for being you. You <laughs> are awesome. Bye!